It's a new song from The View. Uh, they're back. It's called Shock Horror. You can download it and buy it in the shops for the 2nd of February. It's the first official single from their new album, also out on the same day. And Paolo Nettini features on one of the album tracks. Oh, uh, yeah, a power is in there. Awesome, this is on. That's on um, uh, Lips. Is yes, it? Yes, it is. Yeah, I haven't sung good, it yet. That's a good song to sing. Aha is a good song to sing for points. But they, they, they use that in the advert, but then you've got to buy it. Download it, yeah, it's true. But I, I downloaded a few songs. How many did you get for free? 40. Yeah. Okay, well, that's not many, is it? Uh, no, because like a few of them are really weird mm. tracks as well, but there's some good stuff on there. And uh, Alad will now tell you that the version of Kylie is slightly remixed. I didn't know that. Well, <laughs> it's the video version. Oh, is it? Well, yeah. yeah. Um, morning, everyone. 9.25 is the Chris Moyle Show at BBC Radio 1. Uh, 10 o'clock is Sarah Cox. I haven't seen her for weeks. Mm. She was uh, drunk around my house doing a conga around the kitchen to PDK's Christmas record. After she? your Christmas drinks. Yeah. Oh, I love Sarah. Well, you'd have loved her when she was doing the conga around the kitchen. <laughs> that was a very surreal evening. We put that uh, Geraldine record on. Seriously, they, it must have been on about 30 times. And because we're all drunk, it just got funnier and funnier. And every time it came on, we had to do a conga around the kitchen. It was a good it, night, that. I miss, the, I miss the after show, but the party was good. Well, Sophie decided to invite everybody back to our house. And I'm like, we've got two tins of carling and mm. half a bottle of Liebau for milk. We, we haven't got anything. <laughs> I'll be fine. I'm like, when did you become Rachel? I don't know. <laughs> um, Will wants me to plug the fact that you can now see the show live on the internet or streaming right now. Uh, there's Matt's shoulder just in the uh, corner. There's Matt. Look, everybody. It's Matt Fitcher. Yay. There he is. There's his head. Hi, Matt. No, up. Turn yeah. around. Look at the camera there. Walk in front of it. Wave at the <laughs> side of it. Yeah, yeah, but walk in front of it. There you go. There he is. What a dopey <laughs> looking fellow he is. <laughs> With new hair. I know. Did you have it cut or have you just had a new Lego piece fitted? <laughs> <laughs> it was cut, thank you very much. Get on that mic, let it, take, it, take your headphones off, let everybody see that. Look well, at that. Move, uh, that. move that camera up. There you go. Where am I looking? I don't know. No, no, no. Well, just, you don't just look, look at me. The TV. Just look at me. Just you. look at me, Matt. Stand there. Hi. Right. Okay, now we'll take a shot of you with your uh, Lego hair. It's what? not Lego hair. It is like There it is. Look, look at it. Look, he's like a Lego man. You still look like Sue Perkins, though, off of Mel and Sue. Rachel, no, have you I got just... your have you got your glasses oh. with you? Put them on, Matt, no, for a second. Yeah, just, well, just for the just for the full look. Dave, he come here, performing like monkey boy. Oh, I'm not a monkey. Go on, right, take your headphones of off mic. and glasses on. Oh, Watch this. Goodness. Sake, Sue Perkins. Lego hair. <laughs> oh yeah, actually, it is. Stand it. Look, look at that. Look at the camera. Oh. Uh, stand up a bit. They uh, uh, bob down a bit. Oh, there, right. there, there you go. Look right. at that. <laughs> hey, Matt, do this. Do this. Right, take that pen yeah. and pretend to conduct a big orchestra. Go on. Like she did on the telly when she, she won that show. Okay. Things it does look do. like a girl, doesn't it? Doesn't he? Don't be cruel. What, do you want us to start on you? No, actually, pick on him. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go to bbc.co.uk forward slash radio one and you can uh, see what we're doing today. And then text in eight double one double nine. If you're watching right now, send us a text. Tell us who you are. Eight double one double nine is the text. Aha is a free download apparently. Is it? Yeah. Oh well, there you go. That was hmm. interesting. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting all a bit lost on my. Do you need uh, a computer then for that one? No. Can you download it on your actual? If you're connected to the uh, internet, if you're on Xbox right, Live. Okay. Yeah. Have you got that? I don't know. Right. That'll make his <laughs> brain blow up. Do you know what? I've got a spare membership. You can have it. Okay. Right. So I went out for uh, Sunday lunch yesterday. Me and my brother and his uh, wife-to-be, and we had a re very nice little kind of impromptu pub crawl afterwards, and it was really mm. nice. We end up in this new pub, mm -hmm. and they have this little novel thing where on all the tables they have a little coffee mug, and in it they have loads of playing cards from Trivial Pursuit. Oh, yeah. Right? Good idea. So we're sitting there, and I went, oh, this is good. So I kind of take one out, and Carrie goes, oh, oh uh, uh, Entertainment Pink. And I'm like, oh, okay, uh, who played blah, blah, blah in the film? Blah. And she goes, oh, whatever. And we, we start playing, and we get a little bit kind of obsessed. It's a nice little game. Mm. We're having a drink. Anyway, I pull out one card, and, and I brought it. I stole it from the pub <laughs> um, because I had to do it. I'll drop it back. But uh, So the answers are on the back. Um, what colour do you want to go for? We'll go for uh, Dave. Green, no, blue geography. Blue geography. What country is the resort city of St. Moritz in? 
Well, that would be San Moritz Ski Resort, I think, Switzerland. OK, let me turn the card over and read the answer. The Thames. Sorry about that, you got it wrong. OK. Uh, Are you Dominic. not holding two cards there together? Yes, but we didn't know this at the time. And I'm going to read the rest of them, and then you'll get to the point where we realise there are two cards stuck together. <laughs> so if you take a shot of me on the camera, right, <laughs> I'm reading these, that is. I've got them. I'm sitting in the pub, and I'm going, right. Uh, what film featured the line, open the pod door, Hal? So that's there. What film featured the uh, line, open the pod bay door, Hal? Right. Dominic, what do yeah. you say? I don't know that one. Um, well, come on. I'm going to have a guess. Is it Apollo 13? Or no. Something? Can How? I have a guess? Um, How the computer? Space Otters. Space Otters. Space Ottery. Right, 2001 <laughs> Space Ottery. So I, I, I turn no, the card over. Space Ottery. And the answer says... James Mason. <laughs> so there you go. So the two cards stuck together. Can I have Sport and Leisure, the orange one? Orange one. Yeah. Um, what basketball team did Abraham Saperstein establish and send on the road in 1927? Oh, don't know. Harlem Globetrotters or something like that. No, Bobby Fischer was the answer. <laughs> oh, <right>. Did he? <laughs> the there's Bobby Fischer 11. There's two more, and this is when we realised that there were two cards that were actually stuck together, <laughs> right? Uh, who was Lord Snowden's first brother-in-law? Who was Lord Snowden's first brother-in-law? Kevin Peterson. Turn it over. The Reverend Cannon Banana. Right. <laughs> and then, this is my favourite one. What was Linda Kitson's official status during the Falklands War? What was Linda Kitson's official status during the Falklands War? Uh, oh, I don't know. Defence Secretary or something. No. Adolf Hitler. So there you go. <laughs> was she? She was Adolf Hitler. Yeah, Two like... cards stood together. So we've invented a brand new game. You get all the cards from Trivial Pursuit, you read the question of one, and you read the answer of another. It's brilliant. Mm, that is better than the original mm, game. Yeah. Uh, so you can have, if you, twi if, if you twist them round the other way round, mm. okay, um, who became Zimbabwe's first and most fruitful president? Prince Philip. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. a ridiculous... Um, yeah, that wouldn't happen. Answer. <laughs> it's a good game, though, isn't it? Who was the first American world chess champion? Um, Louis the Walsh. The Harlem Globetrotters. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? So it's a great... Try it. Seriously, get your old game out. Stick two cards together. It's a riot. I thought it was funny anyway. I like that. You better return them to the public house before they have you for theft. Uh, yes, I will. Um, do you know what? Actually, maybe I'll just have one quick pint while I'm in there and start my off with beer tomorrow. <laughs> Dominic, you ready with news? Ready. Good. Digital, Digital FM. Online. This is Radio 1. Did you just pick your nose? Uh, I scratched it, but I forgot there was a camera in my face. Right. So, for people watching, I didn't pick it, I scratched it. I don't pick during news time. Yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs>